Hello and welcome to another part of the Evercade series. And this time I'll show you the Thalamus collection. This is the newest collection of the Evercade. And uh, you see, there's 11 C64 games on it. And if you ever seen the cartridge, the cartridge look like this. And the box has a manual. When do you last time uh, have seen a manual? And this manual is good. You see where are the games in it, some descriptions, some advices, some tips, the controls. It's really great. And I think every pack has a manual and this kind of cartridge in a box. I love this style. This is really good and it's really neat for collecting. And uh, in this Thalamus collection, I knew some games of it, but where well, some games I never have heard it. So let's start looking into the games. I try it here on the handheld. And you will see uh, that you have deselect uh, the games from the handheld. So you reach the games on a cartridge, but this is really, really simple. So let's start the thing. And I think we start with Amolite, I think. The competition edition from 1988. So now you see this is the select to the Evercade with a right button and now you're on the cartridge. If you know the difference between the standard edition and this edition from Amolite, please write it in the comments. I didn't recognize something different. These are the 11 games and we look in each of them. So we start with Amolite. It's a great smup. I think a lot of people will know this this kind of game. It's really good. It's nice. It's I think it's the standard smups from this era, I think. And it plays nice. It plays much better if you don't look through a camera to a handheld. But um, the most, uh, I think a lot of the smups of this era were hard. So you have to memorize these games to complete them. So now look at the next game. Amalite is from 1988. And the next is Creatures. I'm playing Creatures currently on my Twitch channel. It's from 1990 and it's a great game. It's a mixture of standard platforming and the boss levels are torture chambers where you have to rescue the other creatures and Clyde Radcliffe. It's a typical British humor, I think. <laughs> it's, I, I, I like this game. I like also the sequel. I think the first one I like better, but it's a great game. It's really, really... It only has, I think, three islands with three sections. So you only have nine levels, but it's it's neat. It's nice. It plays very well. Do you get the, the green one? Yes, fine Clyde. You can kill the balloon guy with a flamethrower. <laughs> okay, we switch to Creatures 2. Creatures 2 has an interesting intro. Um, I let you recognize this intro. It's very, very reminiscent of uh, a 
very famous movie franchise. <laughs> Where's also the second one? Really awesome. <laughs> really, I think um, action breaking, very fascinating sequel. And they try to capture the feeling, the design. Sadly, I missed the other title screen, that is also a homage to uh, a movie franchise. But after we get these credits, I tell you. And now, Clyde Redcliffe in his back with a mission. In C2. Uh, the other title screen is a, a homage to Indiana Jones, but I think I've skipped it in the recording. And uh, to be honest, I didn't remember that you start in a torture chamber. <laughs> the torture chamber is something like a puzzle, but it's not good to lose. <laughs> you know, play a game, huh? This is Hawkeye. This is a really run and gun neat game. You have to rock from left to right and then right to left. And I think the, the, the color of the eyes um, symbolize where I have to go. To be honest, I never heard of Heatseeker. This is from 1990. And this puzzle platformer, I don't know how you want to call it. I didn't know. <laughs> so this is Hunter's Moon. This is a homebrew, if you want to call it, from 2018. Um, to be honest, I don't know if there is an original and this is the remastered version. Um, but it's neat that's on the cartridge. The next one is Nobby the Adwak. I think this is really late in the C64 span. This is from 1993. I think a lot of people have moved to uh, Amiga. Or something else uh, but I remember this wasn't a game for me um, this yes yeah, if you want to call it a mascot platformer uh, I think it was not great quality retrograde from 1989 this game reminds me of drop zone Maybe is inspired by Drop Zone. Um, but as you see, other enemies can take more than a bullet. <laughs> so you want to call it, these are bullet sponges. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit, you, you see, you, you need a lot of firepower to take them down. Snare is also a smup. And I think this smap, um, you are able to change the viewpoint. And um, to be honest, I didn't get it on the recording. I have to do this game again. <laughs> Maybe then I can understand it, what the game wants from me. Besides talent and patient. Um, but you see, it's it's a neat smup. Summer Camp and Winter Camp are both if you want, platformers, mini games. Uh, I'm not a fan of both games, but uh, maybe I'll give them another try and. Um, 
maybe I will be keen with him, maybe not. Well, we see about it. <laughs> Summer camp is from 1990 and winter camp is from 1992. Also really late in the C64 span. You see it starts with a skate school. Maybe this is some kind of winter games homage. But to be honest, I didn't get it. Um, I think this was the last game on this collection. This is the Thalamus collection. In the description where is an Amazon link if you want to use it i will appreciate it and uh, there will be more cartridges in this kind i will show them and uh, well also some magazines and something else from the evercade series and you will get it here i'm your mr venom 1974 please rate leave a comment subscribe have a nice day